Good job. Good job. She got all of her balls lined them up and is doing them one by one. Look at my baby. Good job. Her and go ahead, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get back in the game. <laughs> get back in the game, girl. <laughs> I have to do the cutest little tiniest Trader Joe's haul for you guys. I went to Trader Joe's and this was too good not to share with you guys. So first things first, I got hash browns. Um, Anaya is really loving hash browns, specifically the ones from McDonald's. So I picked up a, um, a thing of these so we, I could stop wasting my money on McDonald's. And then I got the gyoza dipping sauce. Um, if you get any of their dumplings, you got to get the gyoza dipping sauce. I have been like obsessed with soup dumplings and i don't live in a place that has a lot of asian restaurants or even places that i can get something like this even the frozen um and so i got two boxes of these and i'm a little bit under the weather so i thought it would soothe um my sore throat also I had to pick up uh the orange chicken and fried rice because like you have to and then the last thing i picked up and i thought this was my first time getting this but I realized when I ate one, I realized it's not my first time getting this. This is These are the Thai shrimp gyoza. Yeah, the Thai shrimp gyoza. And I always buy these thinking that it's going to be like filled with shrimp, like shrimp paste. Like if you chop up shrimp in the way that you would chop up chicken or beef, because I've had gyoza like that before. And they are not. It's just like little pieces of shrimp but the um the gyoza is basically filled with vegetables and i don't mind that i just don't like my gyoza filled with veggies i'd rather it be filled with like a meat paste or whatever you want to call it um so not my favorite and i'm probably just going to stick to the pork gyoza that they have but yeah this is the tiniest little haul and i already used some of my gyoza dipping sauces i already had some of these because i didn't eat breakfast today but um yeah i was in a trader joe's uh, area where they had trader joe's i was like yeah I had to pick some of these things up. So yeah, if you guys ever go into Trader Joe's and are looking for something, you don't know what to get, any of these are gonna hey be guys, good. Guys, um, it is another day, okay? My nephew is here with me, Cache son. Y'all know my sister, Cache. And um, what am I saying? Y'all, first of all, I'm under the weather. Like hashtag mom life. I'm under the weather again. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Um, Henry went out of town for work. Shout out to the person who works for TSA who ran into Henry at the airport. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, so Henry's out of town. By the way, this is pre-recorded. Um, but Henry's out of town and um, I got my nephew here with me. Um, Henry was here obviously over the weekend. He just left this morning and my sister's actually coming to pick up my nephew today. So it really doesn't matter. I'm only going to be here with them by myself for a couple of hours and I'm a home mother. So it really doesn't matter. But what I came on here to say is that having my nephew here this weekend, he's only nine months and obviously Anaya is going on three and a half, you know, coming this summer. And having to switch back into like baby mom life. And this is giving us a whole realistic idea of what it will look like if we had two children. Good God. Okay. So like right now, I just heated up his bottle. So some of the things that we had for Anaya, baby-wise, like right now, he's sitting in one of Anaya's old baby things, her bouncer, certain things we just didn't put away or we didn't put in the basement. So like I got the bottle warmer. <laughs> we had two of these bottle warmers, warmers, and I'm actually able to use that. No problem with him. Um, but yeah, y'all, this really got me thinking like, honey two kids no having two kids y'all i had to get both of them up this morning drop anaya off having to drop anaya off while having him in my arms and the thing is we were so my sister she don't have the doona but i was going to uninstall his regular car seat and then just reinstall our doona because that's another thing that we have out that we didn't like tuck tuck away in storage but i felt like it was too much of a hassle to like uninstall his car seat install the doona and then go from there because it would have been so clutch to just like take out the whole car seat put it in stroller mode and anaya likes for me to hold her while we 
do drop offs in the morning. So today she had to hold my hand while I had Nasir in my in my arms or whatever. Um, but that would have been so much easier. But I had to take him out of the car seat, hold him in my arms, and then do the drop off. But let me just tell y'all, this ain't for the week, okay? This is not for the week. And then I'm sick. If you can't already hear it in my voice, I, I don't know where I got this sickness from. Probably Anaya, but I'm sick again. This should be a Starbucks medicine ball, but it is not. I just got some hot coffee to just like soothe my throat. I just took some Tylenol, um, uh, Tylenol cold and flu, and um, never mind my hair. <laughs> Never mind my hair. It's actually clean. I um I don't know if this video is going up before or after my Sunday reset vlog, but in my Sunday reset vlog, I was washing, I took out my braids, my knotless braids. I'm actually gonna put more in. Um, but I washed my hair and I let it air dry yesterday. That's why I look a little bulky. So I don't put a lot of heat on my hair, especially, you know, having a perm or whatever. Um so yeah, I let my hair air dry and then maybe once Cache comes and picks up Nas today, I'll do the knotless. So I'm going to do the knotless again, but I'm going to do bigger ones. I'm going to do the like large so it don't take me as long. Let me see. But anyway, I just wanted to pop in and let y'all know I was a mother of two this weekend. It was hard. Let me stop saying this weekend. I literally only had him on one day and his mother's coming to pick him up the next day. <laughs> but I've never watched a baby outside of Anaya overnight, so it was a little bit different, but I was just popping in and let y'all know, and hopefully y'all day or y'all week is going well. Yes. So I just want to do the quickest little Nespresso haul, because I just got my pods in and I haven't done one of these in a really long time, but these are all like, it's nothing special. I didn't get like any like fancy flavors. I didn't get any like fancy flavors or anything, but they brought back the vanilla flavor, but they have renamed it Sweet Vanilla. So I am unsure. I gotta look on the website and potentially look on the box. I don't know if they only changed the ingredients or if they actually changed the coffee itself. I don't know, but I had to get it now that it's sweet vanilla. Same thing with the caramel. They have changed the caramel to golden caramel. We'll see about that. And then I had to get my my signature hazelnut muffin is bomb.com. And then from my samples, oh, decaf. I need all the caffeine. I think these are single espressos. Let me see. <clears throat> yep, a single espresso pod. So I got two single espresso pods, the Altiso and Altiso Decaffeinado, which is just decaf. So I don't know, I'm gonna try the, I think I'm gonna try the sweet vanilla. Oh, sweet vanilla. I'm gonna try the sweet vanilla. Give it a taste. Um, 
so before I close out this video, I also wanted to give you an update on Anaya's first week in school, how she did, how the first day went. Um, so everything has, like we're in week two now, and everything has gone so smoothly so far. Like we are so blessed and couldn't have asked for a better school, couldn't have asked for a better transition um, for Anaya. Um, as I mentioned in the, the previous vlog, um, and by the way, if you haven't watched that, then I'll link it at the at the end of this video. Um, but we had already been talking to her the entire month of March about going to a new school. She knew that she was going to a new school. Um, she kept calling it new school. Um, and so she was very much aware. Um, also, just didn't know. But we obviously didn't know, like, how the actual first day was going to go. Um so, you know, we pulled up and everything. We went in. She was excited when we got to the door. She was still excited, but just like apprehensive. Um, I also told you guys that we had already went to orientation. So this was now her second time meeting her teacher. So we just reminded her of her teacher's name over the weekend and everything. So when we saw her, her teacher on the first day, we're like, oh, Anaya, there's Miss, let's say her name was Miss Shalanda. There's Miss Shalanda again. Like, remember Miss Shalanda? And so, you know, that all that helped. And, you know, her teacher, like I said in the previous video as well, is really good with that transition period. Like that little period from like handing over the child from the parent to the teacher and them actually walking into the classroom. She's really good with that. She's a mom herself. Um, she's just, you can tell she's very experienced. So she had it down pat. She um, gave Anaya stickers and she told her to give mommy and daddy each a sticker and we can all have stickers and think of each other throughout the day. She explained to Anaya like what they were going to actually do that day. Um, so she knew what to expect. So that was all fun. Anaya slept for her whole nap time. Um, she ate all of her lunch. I've been enjoying making her lunches and those freezer meal preps that I showed you guys are have come in such handy. Like I have not had to stress about lunch since she started. So I'm so excited about that. I'm definitely going to keep that up. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, did I cry? I did. I cried on the way to the school and I cried when we got to the school. I was crying when I had to hand her off. And this time the cry was different, right? So the first time that I dropped her off at school, I was more so crying because like, this is my baby. I'm dropping her off to somebody else. Are they going to take care of her? Will they know what she needs and all this other stuff, like all that uncertainty. This time I was sad just because I know that she likes her old friends from her old school. And I know that she, she knows that she's starting a new school, that she has a new teacher, but like, I don't know if she really grabs the concept that she wouldn't see her other friends again um that really like made me sad like you know is she recognizing that you know we're driving past her other school and going to a different school and you know does she know that she won't see those friends again um so yeah that made me really sad so that was pretty much why I was crying which I really didn't even need to cry but yeah but yeah, she had a wonderful first day. Um, the second day she did, when I went to go pick her up, she did run to me in tears though. Um, it was probably, I did pick her up a little bit later than I did on the first day. So it was probably just getting to her like, where's my mommy? Um, but yeah, now, I mean, in the second week, everything is again, still going smoothly. And yeah, we couldn't have hoped for a better transition. So just wanted to give you guys that quick update so you have it from the first video. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know. I have been truly enjoying these like week in my life daily vlogs versus like the old vlogs. Like, you know, the old vlogs, I would more so like try to record an entire day and make a vlog out of that entire day. Um, and sometimes I don't have enough footage to fill up an entire day because sometimes we're just not doing anything. But the week in the life vlogs allows me to like highlight like special events throughout the week and then share them all with you at the end of the week. So I really like these style vlogs. Let me know if you like these week in the life vlogs um, and I'll be sure to like continue to do these style vlogs. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.